Good afternoon folks. It's late October. We're up on this really high spot today. I've had a few hammered on here. I haven't found anything for ages. I, I always take my camera with me just in case I find something. But we're up here this afternoon to give it a bit of a blast. Stubble's not the ideal sort of conditions, but got the old gold max up here today, as usual. Let's see what we can find. Uh, I'll try and film a few bits for you. I'm going to gotta film this. I can't recognise what it is because it's uh, pretty pretty crudded up. But that's an early hammered. Now, let's see if I can get it in focus. Not sure. I'm going to clean him. See if I can get a, get a little bit of that mud off. Bloody hell. Christ, I haven't found anything for a while. That's why I've been sort of concentrating on night vision videos. But bloody hell, look at that. It's got a bust on. Sen red? It's just like red. Bloody hell. Could be ethyl red. Wow, that's amazing. I haven't found anything for ages and yet come up here, middle of nowhere. I'll show you exactly just how bleak it is up here. Fantastic. It's got like a looks like it's a bit damaged, so I'm gonna have to be really careful. That's the truth. It's got three lines. Can't see it, I can't really work it out. I, uh, the glasses are a bit of a pain in the neck because they're bifocals and I can't... Difficult to see with the iPod exactly what it is, but... Bloody hell, that's going to be interesting. It's been ages since... Uh, well, it's been a little while since I found a significant coin, but... These early ones can be really interesting because I'm not very far from Marlborough. And I'll tell you what, some interesting stuff's been found around here over the years. DL. I'm going to resist the temptation to clean him. I'm not going to gob over it or anything because I know people people bloody hate that. So, And it's not fair. if it's, It could be a fragmentary coin. So, Wow. Look at that. As I, as I flipped the screwdriver straight in the ground and it shot out the hole. And just literally, I just placed it back so I've got to get my camera and capture it because uh, let me stick it there a minute. It's got a little bit of a chip in it, but you can't have everything. Fantastic. I think it looks like the old magic screwdriver's done the business again. Bloody amazing. I'll show you how, just how unlikely a find that is, look. Look at it. I am in the middle of a 40-acre field on the downs. Well, give it a little bit of a wash in warm water. And it's come up pretty good. It's got a few little nicks in it, to be expected after uh, about 1,200 years in the soil. As you can see, it's got quite a respectable bust of a king called um, Burgred. I thought it might have been an ethyl red because I saw the red there, but uh, it is an actual fact. If you see where the nick is there, you can see the B-U, B-U-R, G, red. So it is a Burg red. Quite a, quite a rare coin, but what makes this a little bit more special is his bust, because um, underneath his bust, uh, his drapery is very much different to the one in the coin book, which I'll show you in a second. Turn him over, you've got three lines of lettering. Uh, the first is Mon at the top, and the uh, Etta at the bottom, Monetta, and the Munier's name would be... Cialif, or Cialif, or something like that. See, you can just about make out there's a there's a little cross before the the letters, and you've got C I A L L A, so it's Cialif or something like that. Um, only a few known of this money, so it is a bit of a rare beast. Uh, lucky to get it in that condition in that flinty soil. Because I know it's, uh, it's had a few knocks, but it's probably the best condition hammer that's come from that field. So it's probably, uh, certainly by far the rarest. If you have a look in the coin book, 
<clears throat> Put him against uh, the Burgrid coin. You can see on his drapery there, as I say, there's the date 852874. And you look at the, the drapery of this coin, I think you can see that um, it's very, it's like a couple of M's, whereas that one there has got uh, totally different. There's a bit of a diademed bust as well. Whereas that one just seems to be, my coin seems to be a plain coin, so a very rare coin, I would imagine. But I shall have to send off for some information for him. Uh, very delighted to have found him. 